Hello my friends, Hank here with a huge announcement that I'm really excited to share with you guys. I am proud to announce that starting this Friday, November 3rd, I'll be hosting a brand new daily video series called World War II History Today. The goal of this series will be to provide you with your daily dose of World War II history as it happened on each particular day throughout the course of the war and beyond. So every morning, you can start your day with a nice cup of coffee and a quick five minute or less summary of all the major events on that date that shaped the outcome of World War II. I hope this will be an informative, entertaining source of history for you guys to tune into and follow along in real time. And I hope that it'll provide a unique perspective on how the war played out on every front at the day-to-day -day level. Now, this new series is going to launch on Friday, like I mentioned, on a brand new sister channel to Spruce and Bruce Scale Modeling. So to be sure you can follow along with these brand new videos, please be sure to hop over to the World War II History Today channel and subscribe right now. I'll drop a link down in the description below so you can check it out. This is a project that I've been planning for a really long time. It's a massive undertaking, but I'm super excited about it, and I, I really hope you guys are too. Now, what does this mean for Spruce and Brews scale modeling? Absolutely nothing is going to change. You're still going to be getting all the same weekly scale modeling and history content that you've come to expect right here on Spruce and Brews scale modeling. This new channel, World War II History Today, is just going to be an extra source of free content for scale modelers, for history enthusiasts, and everybody in between. So without further ado, I'm going to give you guys a special sneak peek at the very first episode of World War II History Today, right now. If you're interested, please be sure to subscribe to the new channel. You guys are the very first folks to learn about this new endeavor, and I really appreciate your support. All right, let's check it out. Hello, my friends, and welcome to World War II History Today a new daily series where we roll back the clock and take a look at some of the key events that shaped the outcome of the Second World War on this very day in history. Today's date, November 3rd. On November 3rd, 1936, President of the United States Franklin Delano Roosevelt wins re-election over Republican Governor Alf Landon of Kansas, taking every state but Maine and Vermont in the process. Two years later, on November 3rd, 1938, a young Luftwaffe fighter pilot named Vera Mulders scores his 14th and final aerial victory of the Spanish Civil War with the Condor Legion. Mulders would go on to become the first fighter pilot in history to score 100 air-to-air -air victories and would be appointed to Inspector of the Luftwaffe Fighter Units by age 28. On November 3rd, 1939, Franklin Roosevelt implements the cash and carry policy, allowing the still neutral US to sell non-military goods to countries already involved in the conflict so long as they followed two rules. One, all purchases needed to be paid in cash immediately. And two, the purchasing nation was responsible for all overseas transportation. On November 3rd, 1940, Londoners experienced their very first night in over eight weeks without being hit by German bombers as the Blitz comes to a close. On November 3rd, 1941, German troops push into Kursk and capture the city for the first time during the war as part of an effort to shore up the southern flank of the 2nd Panzer Army's assault on Moscow. That same day, General Heinz Guderian noted in his journal that the first frost of the year has hit. German forces are about to face their first brutal Russian winter as the temperature plummets and conditions worsen. So I hope you enjoyed that little preview of my brand new show, World War II History Today, and I look forward to seeing you all on Friday for the big premiere. Until next time, my friends, be well, happy building, cheers.